Health Tech Gizmos, the future of medicine now. In today's video, we're looking at a new and novel blood pressure wearable from a new company called Actia. I've just got this, so I'm going to show you what's in the box. So if I just open this up, we actually have two boxes. One which is the actual wearable and one which is a blood pressure cuff. So if I just open these boxes, what you will see inside, in this one is the actual core device, the main device that does the blood pressure measurement. And within there we have the charge cable and the, and the cradle. I'll come back to that in a moment. In here we have a, essentially it's a traditional blood pressure cuff. It's Bluetooth enabled. And you may ask, why would I need that? Well, this is essentially used to help calibrate this device. And I believe this needs to be used approximately once a month. I'm not sure of how long, but it's essentially a regular blood pressure cuff. You put that on and just initialize the device. So I'll put that up to one side for the moment. Let's look in more detail at the wearable. So if I take this off its actual packaging, so what you can see here is it's a nice silicone strap really lightweight and really the device itself is very minimal there's very little to it um so there's the device it has no actual lights on it it doesn't tell the time um so it's a completely transparent device the only thing it has is the ppg sensor on the back which is the primary device for sensing the blood pressure um, and occasionally you can see the light go off uh, on that as it detects your blood pressure. Let me just put that on, so just bear with me for a second. So as I say, it's a really nice silicon strap, um, very lightweight, and so as you can see there, I have that on my wrist. It looks pretty nice, it's really comfortable. I've had this now for about three days, um, and it's really uh, easy to wear. I've worn it 24 seven, I've slept in it, um, the only thing that you can't do in it is shower in the device as it's not waterproof. But other than that, I've worn it 24 seven, really nice device, really easy, really transparent. What, so if you wear that, what actually happens is that you get some data throughout the day. And here's just a screenshot on my iPad just so that you can see how this works. So here's a screenshot shot of what's on your iPhone. And you can see here's my actual data. So you can see here every two hours that it's averaging this data. And you can see at the top here, this represents my systolic blood pressure and this represents my diastolic blood pressure. So this is all in the app. All you have to do is periodically throughout the day, synchronize your data by literally pulling up the app on your iPhone or your smart smartphone, pulling down and it synchronizes the device. That data is then aggregated in Actia's cloud and it produces this data. So really, really easy to use. Configuration was really simple. Literally, you just had to download the app, uh, synchronize and pair this device, take an initial reading with the blood pressure cuff and off you go. So, why would you need a blood pressure device? Well, you may be like me. You may have hypertension or you may not have hypertension. But according to a regular blood pressure cuff, you may often find that when you visit your doctor that you actually get very raised blood pressure. And yet at home, you have normal blood pressure. So a raised blood pressure at the doctor is called white coat syndrome. In other words, you're stressed when you go and visit the doctor. This device could be a real game changer to help people like myself, maybe like yourself, to actually understand what is really happening with me. Do I really have high blood pressure? Is it elevated? Is it low blood pressure? Or is it just about right? So I'm going to leave you there. I've been wearing it for a few days, as I say. What I'm going to do is come back and do another video in a few weeks' time and let you know how I got on. So I look forward to giving you an update soon.